Thinking about an active threat and violence in your school should not be a top priority, but the reality is, it needs to be. Today's objective is that one, students will be able to identify the different elements of ALICE and explain why it is important. Two, students will be able to identify how an ALICE training is different from our other earthquake and fire safety drills. Three, we cannot stress enough the importance of being silent and taking this drill seriously for the entirety. Today, we will be going over ways that we here at Seaside Middle School will remain safe in the event of an active shooter situation on campus. ALICE is a proactive way to handle an intruder or active shooter of any kind on campus. ALICE stands for alert. The initial alert will be coming over the PA announcement screaming, gunshots, etc. L is the lockdown portion of our drill. If evacuation is not a safe option, barricade entry points and prepare to evacuate or counter if needed. I is the inform. Communicate real-time information on an attacker's location and use clear and direct language. C is for counter. As a last resort, distract ability of the shooter to shoot an attack accurately. E is evacuate. When able, evacuate to a safe location to remove yourself from the danger zone. Each one of these situations can be used to deter intruders and to get you to safety during a dangerous situation on campus. Let's take a closer look at the ALICE system. A is for alert. It is your first notification of danger. Alert is when you first become aware that there is a threat. The sooner you understand that you're in danger, the sooner you can save yourself. A speedy response is critical. Every second counts. Alert is overcoming denial, recognizing the signs of danger, and receiving notifications about the danger from others. Alerts should be accepted, taken seriously, and should help you to make survival decisions based on your circumstances. While your first alert of the situation may be the school's PA system, it is likely that you will hear gunshots, screaming, or other loud noises that will indicate that there is a serious problem. Stay alert and use your eyes and ears to pay attention to what is going on around you. While lockdowns are rare, we want to make sure our staff and students feel prepared and not scared. During a lockdown, it is important that you barricade the room. Prepare to evacuate or counter if needed. If evacuation is not a safe option, barricade the entry points to your room in an effort to create a semi-secure starting point. Our training explains scenarios where lockdown may be the preferable option and dispels myths about passive, traditional, lockdown-only procedures that create readily identifiable targets and makes the shooter's mission easier. ALICE trainers instruct on practical techniques for how to better barricade a room what to do with mobile and electronic devices, how and when to communicate with police, and how to use your time in lockdown to prepare to use other strategies. Examples are countering or evacuating. That might come into play should the active shooter gain entry. When locking down, it is important that you shut all your windows, curtains, and doors and move away from the windows. Use belts or furniture as backups. Be prepared to counter and or evacuate. It is important that during an active shooter or intruder situation, you keep your phones off and do not communicate with anyone. You may unknowingly be giving people information that could worsen the situation. Do not call 911. You will need to keep the lines open and let our administration and office staff be the point of contact with police. The purpose of INFORM is to communicate information in as real time as possible as long as it is safe to do so. Armed intruder situations are unpredictable and evolve quickly, which means that ongoing real-time information is key to making effective survival decisions. Information should always be clear, direct, and in plain language, not using codes. If the shooter is known to be in an isolated section of the building or of the campus, Occupants in other areas can safely evacuate while those in direct danger can perform enhanced lockdown and prepare to counter. Video surveillance, 911 calls, and PA announcements are just a few of the channels that may be used by employees, safety officers, and other personnel to inform others. An emergency response plan should have a clear method outlined for informing school employees, 
hospital workers, and any other employees of the location of a violent intruder. In the counter stage of an Alice drill, you create noise, movement, distance, and distraction with the intent of reducing the shooter's ability to shoot accurately. Counter is not fighting. Alice training does not believe that actively confronting a violent intruder is the best method for ensuring the safety of those involved. Counter is a strategy of last resort. Counter focuses on actions that create noise, movement, distance, and distraction with the intent of reducing the shooter's ability to shoot accurately. Creating a dynamic environment decreases the shooter's chance of hitting a target and can provide the precious seconds needed in order to evacuate. As a reminder, this is a last resort option. It is not your job to counter a dangerous person, but in the, in the event that it is necessary, you can take steps to disrupt the intruder by talking to or at them, making loud noises, making wild gestures with, with your arms and legs, throwing anything at them, but under no circumstances should you ever touch their weapon. In evacuation, when it is safe to do so, remove yourself from the danger zone. Alice provides techniques for safer and more strategic evacuations. Evacuating to a safe area takes people out of harm's way and hopefully prevents civilians from having to come in contact with the shooter. Did you know that you should break a window from the top corner as opposed to the center? Many useful techniques that citizens do not know exist and can save your life. Students, it is important that you follow your teacher's direction to go to the evacuation site. Evacuation can occur through doors, windows, or any other entry point of the school. For evacuation, each school has a designated evacuation site. For our campus, DLAMP and Central Coast High School are our two evacuation sites. You will be informed of which school we will evacuate to in the event that an evacuation is necessary. And now our next steps, our actual Alice drill. We will be coming over the loudspeaker to announce the drill. While we conduct the drill, our expectation is that you listen to all instructions from your teacher. Treat those instructions as if they are real. Please make sure that you are silent during the drill. It is critical to remain silent and away from windows as if there was an attacker on campus. And lastly, while we know this is not a fun topic to discuss, we wanna thank you for taking part in our safety drill. Have a great day and stay safe, Eagles.